seismic charges. Stand by. Preparing for that first date can be difficult and daunting. Us guys get it pretty tough. First, we have to initiate the first move of asking the girl out. Then we gotta go sort out a place to eat. And then most of the time, we gotta pay for the meal too. Or else we feel nervous about the potential things that could go wrong on the date. Like running out of conversation, having something stuck on our too, running if she'll really like you, or the potential that you might say something stupid. Well, I hope this video can put your mind at ease and give you guys a few tools up your sleeve to impress the girl of your dreams. I will be going through a list of the 7 best Star Wars phrases to use on your first date. Most of these phrases will be from different planets within the galaxy that speak a vast range of different languages, but trust me, Many people say languages like Italian, Spanish, and French are the international languages of love, but have you ever considered that Geonosian, Hatiz, and Gungan might be too? The Star Wars races within this list bring guaranteed impress rates. So without further ado, let's find out what the 7 best Star Wars races are, and I will also take you through a step-by-step -step learning exercise to help you say them. So find a quiet space with no distraction, and prepare to participate in some hands-on learning. First phrase, we have Hachu a Pinky. Want to start the date off strong? Well, in this Hatties phrase, which translates to hello, has you covered. Hatties were spoken by the Huts, who are practically the equivalent of modern-day influencers today, and was very commonly spoken on Hut-controlled worlds such as Tatooine. It is very important to display your confidence at the beginning of the date, even if you're feeling a bit nervous. If you're picking your date up from her house, then say this when she is hopping in the car. And if you're meeting at the restaurant and see your date walking from a distance, shout this from across the car park. If the likes of Jabber the Hutt use this phrase, then I think it's pretty clear it will make an impact, because Jabber throughout Star Wars exuded fearlessness and boldness. And he's got a lot of admirers. Some of these admirers even love him so much they decide to chain themselves to him. So repeat after me. We will say the phrase together two times. Are you ready? Hachu a pinky. Hachu a pinky. Well done. You're sounding pretty confident. Careful. I think Jabber's Twi'lek has her eye on you. She loves someone who speaks with confidence. Next. Second phrase. We have... Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
and this phrase will have you in control and the most effective Iwaki's way possible. Not only will it ensure that you know the price of the meal, but it will save your wallet from your day potentially ordering the most expensive meal on the menu. So repeat after me. We will say it together two times. Are you ready? Labu 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 Well done! The lasagna is $25! Next! Fourth phrase We have We need a system where the politicians sit down and discuss the problems, agree what's in the best interest of all the people, and then do it. This phrase originates from the English language and was uttered by Anakin Skywalker in Episode 2 Attack of the Clones when both himself and Padme were on Naboo enjoying a beautiful picnic. Okay, so I know this is more of a form of quote as opposed to a phrase, but it is a perfect one-liner for initiating a very deep and thought-provoking conversation that will last a long time. It is very generalized too, so it can be pulled out at really any moment without actually needing too much knowledge or politics. And if Padme and Anakin's little field trip is anything to go by, then it will have you playfully roly polying through the restaurant. Of course without the cheeky shacks though. So repeat this phrase after me. I will show you how to say it correctly with the right tones. We need a system where the politicians sit down and discuss the problems, agree what's in the best interest of all the people, and then do it. One more time. Hey! This pass is really nice. You know, I was actually just thinking, we need a system where the politicians sit down and discuss the problems, agree what's in the best interest of all the people, and then do it. You waste that, guys. Now what about the political discussion about the droid attack on the Wookiees? Next. Fifth phrase. We have... Die, what? Dog, big. This phrase originates from the Geronosian dialect spoken by the Geronosians, and many say it was the galactic language of love. It directly translates to, you have been charged and found guilty of espionage. And whilst Puggle the Lesser uttered it in a very serious manner during a deleted scene from episode 2, I firmly believe that it can be used in a very cheeky and sarcastic manner for when your date might accidentally say something quirky or goofy or if she accidentally drops a spoon on the floor. Telling someone they are guilty of espionage is a very serious allegation, but this phrase in the context of her date spices things up and reveals your sense of humor. Besides, you don't even have to tell her what it means because anything said in your notion sounds romantic. So repeat after me. We will say it two times. One more time. Good job! You're a multilingual rock star! Next, sixth phrase. We have. Kurpani Mushmur Kai Bart, which originates from that Mandora dialect spoken by the people native to the planet Mandalore and its origins date back to the language of the Tuang, spoken on Coruscant in the time before the Galactic Republic's formation. This phrase translates to, Are you looking for a smack in the face, mate? And is a very handy one to have up your sleeve when you make a trip to the bathroom, only to come back and find some opportunist sleazeball is hitting on your girl. Mandalore was an outer room planet ravaged by war, and its society was divided into houses and clans which battled for centuries. And its fearsome fighters were even unafraid to take on Jedi. Saying this phrase will make you feel like you're clad in intricately constructed Mandalore armor. Not only will you have your date feeling like she's in the safe confines of a Ventator class Star Destroyer, but you will have the sleaze ball hopping into his escape pod, Destination Mustafar, for that extreme burn. So repeat after me. We will say it together two times. Kopani Mushmur Kaibad. This time with a little bit more regression. Kopani Mushmur Kaibad. Great job. You're well and truly getting the hang of this. Next. 
seventh and final phrase. We have Tank and you a put on meal of a tasty yo. Misa love yous. This phrase originates from the Gungan dialect spoken by the Gungans, most notably Jar Jar Binks. The phrase translates to Thank you for the invitation to this meal. I love you. For this is most perfectly said when you are both standing outside the restaurant about to part ways. It is very simple in meaning, but it effectively consolidates the wonderful time spent together. And who doesn't want to sound like a Gungan when doing so? The language is quite a strong contrast from the stern Mandoa just previously spoken, but it shows you also have a soft sentimental side, and you're not afraid to be emotionally vulnerable. She will love you, and might even lean in for a little kiss. So repeat after me. We will practice this together two times. Taken you support our mail invitation. Misa love yous. One more time. Taken you support our mail invitation. Misa love yous. Super job. You are going to rock that first date. And who knows? Maybe you will be saying your wedding vows in Mandora not so long after. Mi salas tome, mi salas da tome. Mi mi di nui an, mi bajuri ver. We are one when together. We are one when powdered. We will share all and we will raise warriors. So there you have it. The seven best Star Wars phrases to ace at first date. And press rates guaranteed. Let me know how effective these were when you get a chance to use them. And let me know your thoughts and opinions on this list. And I shall see you all in the next video. And remember, be happy. We lost the transmission, sir.